Hello, I'm Keith Ford. I'm Steve Ostrom, and today we're going to bring you some guns from the vault here at Rock Island Auction House. Keith, got something very interesting. I've always wanted to get my hands on one of these. Tell us what it yes. is. We are looking at a well rod pistol. This is one of the early ones, which is a Mark II, which is chambered in 32 ACP. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very funny looking, rough and crude looking gun, but it was made with one specific purpose in mind, which was the assassination of guards, dogs. Uh, quiet assassination. Yeah, quiet assassination. What's unique about this is that it is an integrally suppressed handgun. The suppressor's up here, barrel through here, single shot, repeater. Which means it feeds from a magazine, yes. but you have to work the action right. each time? Have a magazine right here. Oh, that just comes off. Yeah. That's your grip and magazine right there. So an uh, agent could just slip that in his pocket, basically, mm -hmm. and conceal it very easily. Put that in, and then here's your trigger right here. It has a safety on it. This was developed at Station 9 at Welwyn Glen City in England uh, for use by the SOE, which was special operations for those guys. Uh, and like I said, integrally suppressed, stupid quiet gun. It was actually like 72 decibels. Oh, so a man. car runs louder than that. A 32 automatic with going through a suppressor would probably be awfully quiet. Yes, yep. yeah. Normally the guys would be armed with one of these and then a uh, Herbin Sykes knife and uh, for a little bit further way work this right here would do the business. Now the 32 didn't do quite the results that they were looking for. It didn't hit near as hard enough. so they be a good shot. Yeah. So they came up with the Mark I which was in a 9mm and basically the same gun except just a little bit bigger and actually had a trigger guard on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But very, very unique, hard to come by pistol. I mean, these are really wild. Bring that around and see how this works. Rotate that, the bolt, pull that back, and then load that, and then you're ready to go. With it a little works. practice, you could probably get pretty fast. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, once you take the shot, extract your shell, load the new one in and you're ready to go. So all you'd really have to worry about is the empty case hitting the floor and making a big noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah and more than likely have it over catch it. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, and then it's got some what, Bakelite grips or yep. something on there? Bakelite. That is a Bakelite handle that wraps or encases the magazine. It looks yeah. a lot like a Colt magazine or something. Yeah. The 32. 32 pocket. And a little catch right there. Mm -hmm. This is very simple. This is bare bone. This is yes. like a, you know, a welding shop put this together or something. Mm -hmm. Now BSA confirmed that they did make some of these and then there were some other little cottage industry right. folks that made it, but these were never produced with any markings on them that would identify where they came from other than just some little stuff like a serial number right here, then maybe where it was proof or whatever. Now this one right here, since this is a transferable item, we'll have the the information on it right. before ATF and everything. Right. But otherwise, this is the original gun that got the well rod up and running. It would not take a lot of machine tools to make one of those, no. so I can see that. Nope. This right here is a piece of solid tool steel and then just drilled out and then broached right here for your locking lugs on your knob back here. And then your barrel would thread in up here in this section. And then very primitive silencer. Did they make a lot of these? Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, oh, there, no. was, there was a couple thousand running around, but not on a large scale. Everything in the, in the Mark II actually saw some service as late as the Argentine War. Oh man. Or the Falkland Islands War. Mm -hmm. So. Yep, that's a very unique little piece. For, uh, for use behind enemy lines, yes. a lot. Grip safety, mm -hmm. trigger, and you just... Manual loading. Wow, that's about as simple as it gets. And some crude yeah. sights there that are driftable yep. for... Mm -hmm. So, man. That's all you need. Yep. Very cool, very, very nice. unique. <laughs> 
Very nice. We don't see a lot of stuff like that. No, especially not a well rod and an early one too. Mm. So that's the well rod pistol. Thanks for watching. We'd like to thank Rock Island Auction House for having us and letting us look at this beauty. And we'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from, from the, the vault. vault.